hey guys so yes it's another day not another day i mean i <laughs> i actually um made use of this clothes because i want to shoot two videos today and they are really exciting topics um that i thought to come share with my youtube family because i know this is a space where different people air their views and um, regardless of the lens you are seeing it from or the um the motion behind everything also i mean this is a very good platform for me to just come and air my views anytime i am um, see something that needs to be addressed okay but let's take a short break so guys welcome back welcome back to the channel and if you're just in this space for the first time you are most welcome my name is precious and i'm a nigerian youtuber based in lagos um i vlog about lifestyle relationship food marriage faith migration and all of those good stuffs so if you consider this as a kind of content you would enjoy please sit back relax and i'm here for you but before doing that please subscribe i mean subscribe and turn on the bell notification somebody asked me not to put or not to say smash that subscribe button and i'm going to put the the message and i promised the person i think i said noted but anyways anytime i say it please kindly forgive me but yeah smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to all of my returning subscribers my ogs thank you thank you all for your support i do not take this love for granted so guys today we are talking really jaw or really just brainwash have you been brainwashed before guys i'm in the office and <laughs> um we are actually um evaluating a project that is ending and that is why i have this little time here and there to come shoot this video so please appreciate me by supporting and um, sharing this video liking this video you know commenting by liking this video you recommend it to people who have not come across my channel so please 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 just do so okay thank you in advance so um like like i asked how many of you have been brainwashed let me start by raising up my hand because hey, i have been brainwashed washed brained they've spread my brain <laughs> mm. I have been in that boat before and i totally totally understand anybody who have been in this um boat before um of late i was i was listening or rather i was watching um the lean ngugi show i think she's kenyan and i mean her show is actually inspiring it's just like um this this lady show um if i remember her name i put on the screen but she's a very popular lady her shows are really inspiring and there's this one that captivated me and i'm like mm, this is very peculiar to my nigerian sisters and brothers and that is the religion or the religious brainwash um let me start with the people or the almighty people the almighty pastors who feel or think that they're the only one who hear from god and god cannot speak to anyone except through them that is a fallacy from the very pit of hell as, as someone who have spent over 20 years of her life in deeper life i mean and i can still be a victim of the religious brainwash it's a shame but then anybody can be a victim okay now i have come to the realization that people who are ttc that is trying to conceive those who are married and they are ttc these people are very vulnerable those who are looking to get married as well are another set of vulnerable people and these preachers these demon possessed pastors use these um, people to you know extort them of their money extort them of their time i can go on and on so if you take one maybe a ttc mom to come share her experience about her her religious brainwash she will see that she has a thousand and one thing to say which will also be similar with every and any other ttc moms they will just have similar stories to share and it's it's painful because i feel it is peculiar with africans not just nigerians africans in a whole because even when you go to the western world they are not 
how do I put it now? They are not that carried away with religion in the sense that if they don't have anything, they just feel okay. It's either it's not my time to have it, or fate has destined me not to have that that thing at that time. But no, it's not with our Nigerian brothers and sisters. It's, it's either we attribute it to people from the village, um, somebody is tie, tying us down. Um, God says it is our time, so we must pray. We must we must pray out our life. We must. Oh my God. <laughs> So you can actually understand the picture. I'm, I'm giving you a creative thing to think now where I say we Africans, we are one of the people or the races who have fallen neck deep into this um, religious brainwash. Let me insert a video of one, one of the guests that Lynn Ngugi brought to her show just so that you will listen to her story. And when we come back, we are going to discuss about it. Let's watch the story. Me, uh, God has spoken to me that you're supposed to marry my brother. You're supposed to get married to my brother. And uh, I was like, really? God has spoken. I was like, yeah, you need to get married to my brother. Wow. So I was introduced to the brother. Lizzie, come on. Hold yes. on. Yes. One minute. We ain't got no rush now. Yes. So now, yeah. this bishop yeah. tells you to do away with your fiancé. Yes. The Lord has spoken. Yes. You are supposed to marry his brother. Yes. How old were you here? Um, I was 32 years. Yes. I was 32 years. Yeah. So I was introduced to the brother. Of course, the brother was was not in the country. And we started talking. You know, you're in that place where you're dating nobody. So you are in a place where whoever comes on your way, you can you're like, And now you're like, you've been told God has spoken. Wow. So no matter what happens. God has. Now let me ask a very maybe silly question. Yeah. Why is God not speaking to you? He's using another person no, to speak No, when to no, you? when you get when you when you when you get there's churches when you get into them, mm. God doesn't talk to you. God talk to the man of God. So the man of God is supposed to tell you what the Lord has spoken to you. God cannot bypass the man of God and come directly to you to come and speak to you. So guys, from that clip you just finished watching, we can see that that woman actually had her fiancé, but her pastor asked her to marry her brother because God had told him in a vision or in a trance, whatever, that she is to marry her brother. Let's not forget that she was, she's also a pastor. Maybe you, you guys have to just go watch the full clip, or I'll just put the clip in my description. She was also a pastor, and then she was... Um, okay, um, Lynn asked her, why is it that God is not speaking to you? Why is it that God is speaking to your pastor? And she said the pastor had made them understand that God only speaks to him. And if God wants to pass a message to anybody in the church, he passes the message through him to them. Religious fallacy from the very depth of hell. So that is it. And you can see from the video, she said that she has been a victim now when i when i want what i want to discuss um is about people who who have been used by these people i'm going to be sharing my life experience here and i want this space to be a safe space for everyone to share their life experience for me there was a particular time yeah i think i was seeing someone but um it wasn't leading to marriage of course so a friend of mine not even a friend a friend and a colleague of mine took me to her church and um we met this woman and i don't know it's as if there's a way they would just see you they would like this person can can buy what we asked her to buy and then they told my friend to because my friend's brother wanted to travel and she he has been denied visa over and over so um she told that my friend's brother that he was going to travel he should get this and that I, well i can't remember now but when she when she got to me she said um precious you are going to you're going to be great you're going to be doing this one you want to get married that person you are you are with presently is your husband but before he gets married to you you are going to buy you are going to buy nine bags of rice you are going to buy see she built me that day and i'm like okay okay i was just you know taking everything in and when she finished giving me my message i just turned to my friend and i was like did you hear everything this woman said and guess what she said she said until i bring all those things that that guy that, that guy will not marry me <laughs> 
I just, you know, and they'll put you in a place where you are now desperate. They put you in a place where um, they, they will tell you what you want to hear so that you will keep coming back. You will keep coming back and they will continue to extort you. That is what they do. See, those people are the psychologists that train psychologists i mean then but god in fact mercy said no in my case because my husband don't like them he hates god he hates them like the day i met him i met my husband and as as we you know cutting and dating i told him that you know I was true to him. I told him my friend took me to this place and look at what they asked me to bring. He was just laughing. He said, see, they have just duped you because I bought everything, honestly. And th those times when they asked me to bring these things, I will be hiding it from my mom because I and my mom were actually close. And because she was rooted in Christ, I wouldn't want to tell her. And, and she hated all those kind of things. She hated all those kind of people because she knows that they are only extorting you. And at the end of the day, when I got married to my, to my husband, I begin to sit back and I asked myself, I didn't even marry the man she said I was going to marry. And thank God I did not even marry him. I'm happy with the man I married. That does not mean there will not be challenges in marriage. That does not mean there will not be trials. Nobody, God did not even promise us a smooth ride. He told us that the, the, rise, the road will be bumpy, but he will always make a way. Where there seems to be no way. But then they will always paint it that if you marry this person, you know this type of thing you will not give birth you will have you will die in the future lies lies do you know that if you carve out time to you know get close to god you will hear him you the, look you will hear him and that's why there's a saying that god is just as far as where you keep him if you get close to him he'll get close to you if you are far from him from him he'll be far from you so there are no there are no tricks to these things i mean that is just the equation, 50-50. God is just as far as where you keep him. So please, if you are still going to those places where they see visions about... I am not saying that they are not real men of God. They are real men of God, whom God used to speak to us. But, you know, the Bible says, have the spirit of discernment so that you don't... And even the Bible says, test all spirit so that you will not fall into something that you don't know you enter a church and you come out double with double of what you even went in with you go with one problem you're coming out with 10 problems so um try to test all spirits and importantly try to get close to god there are no two ways to these things anything you want god to do for you he said in matthew 7 verse 7 ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you so please if you are still totally dependent on these people who want to use you and use your money and use your brain i think it's time for you to take that u-turn take that u-turn and thank me later so i think i am done with this i don't know i really don't want to make this video so long if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel please let us let us all grow together let us grow this channel together subscribe like share comment and i'm going to be seeing you in another video until the next time bye